Hello everyone, Shop for Gaming here, welcome back to my channel. Today I don't really have anything to be covering into the game as I, you know, I'm lacking our content to be actually able to explain. Today we're diving into my own account. I'm gonna give you a complete overview over it, what I have been working on and what's my plan and everything related to my account in general. Let's see exactly how I have been working around the game. So for my main team, I'm using and literally everything. Right now I'm using a Netherwing, Chaser, Sniper Feast, or uh, I seriously forgot the name of this. Ah, Kronos, as well as Cirpros. I have just switched to Cirpros today to be giving him a try even uh, along with the Netherwing, since both of them actually working great together. As well as I'm using Nemesis, but honestly, look into that Nemesis is more of a beast. I'm considering to be actually changing him later on. My plan for the main beast I'm gonna be going with going to be Netherwing, Tear Pros, as well as there is a third one along with them, which is uh, Zephyron. The reason why is because the three of them actually work great together. Look into for, well, I have actually talked about them before in a support video. Uh, we have another one here for the exploration skills. If we check the first one, Hades Cannon, it's including an effect, the Hellfire. And this effect is actually, we can be getting him from the skill that Cyprus have. Let's check it over here. It's Hellfire. And this is just really making it great to actually combine them both this year, uh, beast together, as well as, um, well, I'm just working in general over the rest of the beast. I'm having literally all of them except these two. I didn't really fall or decided if I will be going for Tyrion, look into that as well. This is another day to win beast. I know there is another way to be getting him, but I just completely forgot about it. I guess it's in the early stage of the game that you're able to get him from some events, as well as we have in the Swift Six Glow. I don't remember when I saw him, but I think I only saw him one time. I didn't have the uh, luck to be getting him. And yeah, this is a beast I'm using. For the arena team, it's the same one I'm using. I'm using the top five. Sometimes I can be switching between uh, the Nemesis as well as Subject 9. Both of them doing pretty good. Then, uh, Subject 9, the main reason I'm switching for him, it's the healing skills. He's a main healer for the beasts. He heals to random allies for 93% uh, of the attack as well as the basic attack gonna be healing him for 80% of the damage he will be dealing. As well as the while he's alive, he boosts the, the healing effect on all alive beasts by 15%. So he's really a good replacement if you're not considering to be working with Nemesis. He's a great one to be using. As well as I was using a Pyro Drop, but later on I decided to actually switch him. Since I haven't really been able to get further into the game. As well as we can be considering from the rest. Well, first I was using Deathwing before Netherwing, but Deathwing is the old version. And yeah, it's always good to be switching to the newest beast that is available into the game, especially because the newest one is gonna be actually better than the old one. We have as well some others. I haven't really been working much on him. We have in Blotfang as well as Ghost Sentinel and Storm Fang or Storm Town. These three really good in the BBB parts, but I haven't really been working with them. It's just from the skills we got. Yeah, when combining uh, Ghost Sentinel with uh, Scorcher, they will be doing pretty good work. For the gears for the commander, I'm having the main ones. It's just in a purple. I haven't really been lucky to be working much with them. Mm, yeah, I'm just uh, upgrading them. I do able to get some more materials, it's just I'm saving to be using them in the events like the the, uh, the commander, not the commander, the ace, yeah, the ace commander, the global one mainly, or the normal ace commander to the server. I don't really participate much in this one, I just uh, focus on getting just the top rewards in every day, and that's it. And then we're having as well. I don't really know. Uh, yeah, for the certified, for the certified as well, I haven't really been working much with them. I'm just keeping the material for the events. You know, being a free player, uh, it's often good to be using the resources that it's available into the game in these events to be able to get some kind of extra materials. I have just recently upgraded him to the purple, and then I'm working on the gears. The war gear is pretty, pretty good. 
this is one of the best things they have added into the game. Like, look into the certified, the red ones really have made a big improvement. Like, the percentage of them is the same. Like, if you check, this is the two stars legendary. When just upgrading this one to the red, it's almost the double, not really the double, but you know, it's 50% extra on the percentage. And it's really, really a great boost. We can check here the stats overview and I'm getting pretty much great stats from it. Then we have in the certified uh, gene. I'm not really working much around this one. I'm just, you know, just upgrading every now and then for the event. I know, I mean, this one is one of the good things into the certified that need to be actually working pretty well with it. But you know, it just lack enough focus around it. As well as mm, what else? Yeah, for the commander gears, we have in the extra set. We have in over here the uh, build cost reduction. I'm making it to the legendary. It's pretty good, decent, um, you know, losing the or redu reducing the cost of the buildings is pretty good, like combining this one along with effect from uh, from here, from the talent, using this one here to be reducing it by 20%. It's really great. And then we have in the other one, which is the research cost reduction. This is as well another one to be working on. It's really a great out outcome of it. Then we have in the gems. I'm extremely unlucky with it. I know considering that I have been playing for 200 days and I'm just in this level, it feels a bit low, but hey, I'm just playing for fun. Then we have in the research, the research. For the research, I have been working pretty much to maximize the economy since I'm not too far to actually get it completed. I'm just missing one level over here and then one over there and boom, it's all done. And then after that, I'm planning to be going on the development for the text and this is going to be affecting, you know, the informally as well as technical in general. Yeah, this is my plan I'm keeping. Well, yeah, I should be actually working in the military, but I choose to go for the developments. After all, I'm not really much into BBB. Then we have in the alloy. For the alloy, I haven't really worked much since I have just recently become an alloy one. So yeah, I'm saving the, the liquid alloy, not exchanges for this one, for the part with the buildings. Yeah, we shall see. For the beast, we have in the beast talents. For this one here, I was having it pretty good. I but uh, in the last update we have, they have lowered or changed the style of the core, which have been really not even a good impact. Like, you know, having it to level 10, I remember. And we were only using the Nemesis Fang, the purple one. But now we need to be using both of them, the normal one, as well as the special or the legendary one. It's really wasn't the best changes. Yeah, we haven't lost the uh, the stats we was having from before, but still now it have been become even more worse to be able to actually upgrade it. Like first it was connected to having it all the ones in here to the same level, and then we're able to be upgrading the core. But now we need to be making them. It have become like every ten level we're able to actually upgrade the core one time. Yeah, it's given the double, but still it's not really the same effect like before. Then. I believe, what else? Yeah, I think this is all for me. Yeah, going to the arena to check the uh, cross stats arena I'm using. For here, I'm just trying to be balancing between the three teams to not be making one of them is extremely low for the part with, uh, you know, preventing the part with losing too much. The first team I'm using, we have in one, two, and three from the main team, as well as having two from the others. I'm still keeping Zafrion along with uh, Cerebros to be supporting them, each other. And then we have him for the second team. I'm using Viral Draw Nemesis as well as another wing and the other two. So yeah, I'm pretty much keeping it balanced between all three teams to not be getting myself losing pretty much. So yeah, that's pretty much the complete overview over my accounts and how I play in the game and my plan. Yeah, for the troops to be keeping check out i'm having to tier 10 to unlock tier 11 i still need to be reaching the uh, research from the alloy lab which is this research over here unlock the powerful tier 11 rider unit 
it's going to be taking a long, long, long time, but it will be worth it in the end. Yeah. That's pretty much all around my accounts and a complete overview over it. If you guys have any tips or anything for me to be noticing or to be considering working on, I'll be more than happy to hear your opinions as well as your thoughts regarding my account. Of course, feel free to be telling whatever you want. I'm completely okay with it. Just share your thoughts and, you know, let's just enjoy the game. For now, make sure guys to be liking the video, subscribe to the channel to not be missing my videos in the future. Till then, take care and enjoy your game.